Hello and welcome back to Lincoln St Mark's. Um, sorry it's been a while, uh, but I just thought that uh, even though I haven't actually done anything recently, but I thought I'd uh, do a little update on how I operate the layout. Um, it's at the moment it's good old fashioned DC. Um, the points aren't electrically operated, they are operated by the number one finger. Um, as it's grown, uh, unfortunately I didn't plan ahead and so it's, I found it a lot easier to uh, change the points with the finger instead of fitting point motors. Um, so as it's grown I haven't really decided to do anything other than that. Uh, there is one point motor, under, there is one point underneath the bridge here which I am going to uh, motorise plainly down to accessibility uh, wise, just underneath there. I don't know whether I'm going to use the Pico motor or the other one. Um, now, I'm one of these that like to run to a timetable. And what I generally do is I download real time trains, 24 hour timetables, and I start from the top and work my way down. The 24 hour schedule. Some people may, might think that's a bit daft but it can be challenging and fun especially when you make a layout which really shouldn't really exist. Um, now I've got three terminal platforms and two through roads. Now the new plat new station that I've done, or the new timetable, uh, ha normally has units in platform one as well as units in platform two. Plus at the same time has freights running through it. Now, bit of a problem there, uh, I've only got two roads. Now, I can rather hold trains at this signal here. But then again, I'm also having to still run passenger trains. Or oh, hold trains down at that end. Now, I haven't got that much room down there. But I've thought that if I take this back by half an inch, and looking at the trap work and the point work, Sorry. Down here, I think if I bring this one over a little bit, take this point out, I can actually bring this one straight down the middle and get a through road in. It just means that this becomes up only. That means trains only go that way instead of becoming bi-directional. Uh, 
but we'll see once I've run the timetable and we see now at the moment the controller I use is good old faithful a battered 30 year old gauge master feedback handheld controller but very good um, standard DC all I've done is extended the cable so that it will go all the way to the end of the layout uh, from the normal four or five feet of the cable that comes with it now control wise this is my control panel um, made by my bare hands um, this switch and it's not plugged in so I can't really show you but this one is for lights on the buildings on platform lights now as you can probably see I have isolated sections and other little bulbs now the lights on the sections themselves aren't there just for pretties what they are are a visual indication of the state of that particular section of track for instance platform two I know it says one on platform two there or two a there's a train and of course the light is on now if I try to move that train nothing works now if I throw the switch the light goes off and off goes the train So basically it's a, a visual reminder that that particular section is occupied as well as dead. Now these are controlled my signals. Now I'm using three aspect signals from Burko plus one that I scratch built yes there's 12 wires in that signal hidden away top so you go red yellow green green with feather no, I haven't, I haven't uh, used this layout for a while Somebody wanting to move, I don't know what it is. Okay, 
to stop that there. Let's see if this works. Isolate that one. Unisolate that one. back and isolate that and take it to the end of the platform ready for departure. I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, rundown of my little control. I have an NCE power cab ready to go in. It's just a case of I'm trying to get enough chips to chip everything you see on the uh, that's on the layout. Plus that. Most modelers, plus that, plus that, and if I don't do the bottom draw, I'm going to get lynched by the grandsons. Oh, yeah, and those up there. <laughs> so, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, any comments? Much appreciated. Um, and uh, oh, yeah, that switch, that switch, and that switch are for return feed so that I can shunt into the back loads, which are the fueling point and the carriage slidings. Yeah, again, uh, leave any comments and uh, I'll post another update soon. Bye for now.